Confederate Rose is a beautiful shrub and the most unique thing about it is that it develops multiple color flowers on the same stem as you can see here. I haven't seen any other plant like this and it is not a grafting trick or anything. This is just natural to this shrub that it develops multiple color flowers on the same stem. And not only that, the flowers, they change color over their lifetime. So in the morning, it may be white, in the evening, it will become pink. And by the time it dies, it may become darker pink. It's just amazing. So this plant or this shrub, it blooms in fall and then it goes dormant in winter. So you want to cut it down before the winter arrives and after it finishes blooming. And while you are cutting it down, you could use those trimmings to propagate new plants. Hi, this is Ruchi and let me show you how to propagate Confederate Rose. Confederate Rose is actually not a rose at all. It's a type of hibiscus, but it has many names. Confederate Rose, Cotton Rose Mellow, Dixie Rose Mellow, Just Rose Mellow, Changeable Rose, Confederate Hibiscus, and many more. Once it finishes blooming in fall, you need to cut it down maybe 12 inches from the bottom because it's going to go dormant in winter in any case. And when you get those long cuttings, you can make smaller cuttings from it and put them in water. They'll develop root and then you transplant them in the soil and just watch it grow. It's going to take a few years for it to develop flowers, but it is worth the wait. I have this confederate rose plant and it's been growing really well. It's five years old and it's about eight feet tall. And uh, now I want to take some cuttings from it and propagate it. So I'm going to take a few cuttings from the back and then I'll show you how to propagate. So I got two cuttings. I've already cleaned up my shears with hydrogen peroxide so that if there are any pathogens, they don't get transferred to the cutting. So we'll take about 10 inches long, or maybe 12 inches long cutting. So at the bottom, I cut it below this node. That's where the leaves grow from and potentially the roots will grow from here. So I cut below the node and then I can make another cut at about 12 inches and leave this one leaf and this cutting I'll put in water. Then I remove all the leaves, the bottom and maybe cut it here about 10 inches and then left one leaf on the top this is again one leaf on the top so three cuttings and you see this small thing growing you don't want to cut those you just want to cut the grown leaf this is a short one but that's fine i'm going to keep them indoors in shaded area and i'll keep changing water every two three days and we'll see it's been two days and if you look at these some of the leaves are droopy and that's because uh, the stem is not able to provide enough nutrition to the leaves and leaves are not doing enough photosynthesis. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to cut these leaves in half or even in one third so that the load on the stem is reduced. It's been about two weeks that we put these cuttings in water and you can see so many roots have been growing. You know, most of the leaves dropped. First I cut them and then they slowly dropped. But you can also see fresh growth. 
in many of these. So look at these. So now I want to plant them in soil because the roots are pretty good. I have general purpose potting soil mix in these containers. So I'm going to transplant in this. The original leaf dropped and this is fresh growth. So basically just want to make sure that the roots are all underneath and this is a long cutting so you want to bury it deep you know maybe bury three inches so that it gets full support press it so that it gets support i'm going to water it and then just keep it indoors where it was you know where this uh, container was so that you know they stay in the same environment uh, for a few days and then slowly move it in a sunny area because if we want them to get some sun and get healthy so this cutting doesn't have any roots so let's see this one so again the original leaves dropped and you can see fresh growth so i'm going to water them and then keep them inside and keep you posted so i still have these six cuttings here one of them has a small root and rest I will wait and plant them later on. Our confederate rose cuttings are doing well. Now they are outside. They get about four or five hours of morning sun. It's been about four weeks that we transplanted these cuttings into soil and you can see that there is fresh growth and they are doing pretty well. So they get sun till about noon and uh, then they are in partial shade so they are growing really well because uh, these plants they bloom in fall and then they go dormant in winters and we still have one more month of summer here in zone 9 so I'm going to plant a couple of these in the ground so that they are ready settled in before the winter arrives and I leave a couple of them in the containers just in case uh, they don't survive in the ground because it will start to become really cold very soon. So I planted a couple of those in the ground. This is one. Make sure you choose a location which gets at least five to six hours of sun because to bloom properly they need full sun. And also, uh, you know, in the dry season, make sure they get watered every day. So this is another one which is inside my yard. So deer cannot access it. And you can see that it is definitely taller than what I had in the container. It's been about one month that I planted it here. So I'm going to prepare a separate video and show you how these plants progress. But for now, if you have a confederate rose shrub growing in your garden or you have access to it through your neighbor or friends, maybe you want to ask them to give you a cutting uh, after they cut it down in fall and propagate it. But because you'll be propagating it in winters, once it develops root in water and you transplant it, keep it indoors and uh, once the spring arrives you can transplant it outside so i hope this video was useful to you if you have any questions leave me a comment and i'll try to answer as soon as possible if you like this video press the like button subscribe to the channel and don't forget to share it with your friends and family and i'll see you next time happy gardening bye